Gingival recession with lower anteriors is seen in an HIV positive patient as shown in the image. What could be the associated condition? So here we can see that there is severe bone loss. Okay. There is cat cratering. That means crater shaped defect. This kind of bone loss is more horizontal right now. It could be associated with tooth mobility looking at the amount of bone loss. The options are necrotizing ulcerative periodontitis, acute necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis, linear gingival erythema and generalized periodontitis. Now two options are purely gingival but the lesion is more osseous so it's a periodontal issue not gingival we will eliminate option 2 and 3 based on that that leaves us with generalized periodontitis and necrotizing ulcerative periodontitis now the question clearly says that the patient is HIV positive so in HIV positive there are four clinical uh, periodontal conditions that are relevant The first one is linear gingivitis which is only limited to the gingiva earlier it was known as HIV associated gingivitis. The second one is necrotizing ulcerative gingivitis okay, which was earlier known as HIV necrotizing gingivitis. The third one is necrotizing ulcerative periodontitis which was earlier known as HIV associated periodontitis. The fourth one is necrotizing stomatitis. These are the four periodontal conditions relevant with respect to HIV patients. Now in the given option necrotizing ulcerative periodontitis is also given and like I told you the clinical features of this condition are same as that we have enlisted here and generalized periodontitis would mean all teeth are involved and it would be a chronic case, plaque accumulation would be the main factor, poor oral health would be an underlying factor. Okay, So here since the systemic history is HIV positive the correct answer is necrotizing ulcerative periodontitis that is NUP